And this is where the identities were born. And now you're wondering how to get to the cosine of the sum of angles after we've shown the cosine of the difference of angles. What am I talking about? We're trying to prove this guy. That the cosine of A plus B is the cosine of A cosine of B minus the sine of A sine of B. So what are we going to need? We're going to need these identities. Even and odd. What am I talking about? The cosine is even because it possesses the property that the cosine of minus X is equal to the cosine of of x. What's next? The sine is odd because it possesses the property that the sine of minus x is equal to minus the sine of x. What's next? We need to use previous proven in last video right there. If you want to check that out on how to prove this guy, go do it. Now, I'm using the cosine of a minus d. Why am I using d? Because it's a different variable. And I'm going to now define that guy. Let's just say that d is going to be a minus b. Oh, wait. Why are you doing this? Because, well, we'll see in a moment. If I see a d, I'm going to replace it with a minus b. So here we go. This is the cosine of a minus a minus b. That's going to be equal to. Now, everywhere I saw a d over there, I'm now going to put a minus b. And you probably see where this is going. This is the cosine of a, the cosine of a minus b. And then this is going to be plus the sine of a, the sine of minus b. Now, we are going to use these guys. Now, we plug them over here. Now, I clean up that left hand side. That's the cosine of A minus a minus make mass B. And then over here, see, the cosine of B is the same as the cosine of minus B. And that's why we see that this guy doesn't change. Now, the sine of minus B is the same as the sine of minus the sine of b, so we change that sign out there and that's the difference. Now we're looking at the sine of a, boom, pass that out, sine of b. So what did we get? We got that guy. And then that's how you get from the cosine of the difference to the cosine of the sum. And I want some more trig identities.